Hello. My name is Anita Neal. Uh, I would like to take this time to say I'm sorry for the other parents who's going through what I had to go through. My daughter was in central booking, waiting to see a judge on July 21st, 2013. She had a stomach ache for seven hours. Nobody helped her for seven hours. She begged the girls, 15 to 18 girls inside, kept asking for help. They did nothing. They waited for my daughter to drop dead in the cell. Then they want to rush in and pretend she died in Brooklyn Hospital. My daughter died at 120 Skimmerhorn. Up until today, they, they, no one has come to me. I have petitions for Bloomberg. I had petitions for whoever was in charge. And nobody has seen me yet. Nobody has come to me and told me what happened to my daughter. My daughter's autopsy showed there was nothing in her body. Her head was clear that claimed she had a seizure. My daughter never had a seizure in her life. My daughter had asthma and colitis. She had nothing in her body for all the hours waiting to see a judge for a remote control incident. My daughter was arrested for a remote control. My mother had an order of protection against her, and they had a little confrontation in the house and verbal. The cops came in. My daughter was in a room. Matter of fact, excuse me, my daughter was in a towel. She just came out of the tub because she came from a barbecue. She was waiting to go out for her, with her boyfriend. It was his birthday, and her birthday was the following week that I had to bury my daughter. I buried my daughter on her birthday. 729. She turns her here. I won't see my daughter anymore. They didn't tell me anything. Nobody has just come to me and say I'm sorry. They have not come to me and tell me anything. I beg and I, I have rallies every 21st to make sure I'm going to get justice for my daughter. They claim that it have tapes. They claim there was no one there. My daughter died in 120 Skimmerhorn. Now I have 62 tapes. They gave me the names of the officers. And nothing further. I went in front of the federal court. We're in court now. Because I'm going to get justice for my daughter. And I hope it doesn't happen to anyone else. She didn't get shot, but she was killed in Central Booking at 120 Skimmerhorn for a stomach ache. Anybody go into 120 Skimmerhorn from now on, you know you have tapes and cameras that cannot tell you there's nothing there. There's cameras everywhere. The girls helped my daughter. They moved her on a bench. She laid on the bench. And they waited until she dropped dead to come inside to help my daughter. One of the officers said, ah, leave her alone. She's having a seizure. My grandson had a seizure. Did nothing. The other officers did nothing anyway, either. Now they're going to pay. They're going to pay big time because they will not rest until I get justice for my daughter. If you notice, all the cops are getting caught now. Every cop that's going to do something bad, I guarantee you, from my heart, that was taken from me, something is going to happen to them. I, we got this now. Me and my daughter got this. She's helping me from up top, and I'm doing a job at the bottom. Justice for Kaya and whoever follows in her footsteps, parents-wise. Don't ever, ever let nobody tell you you can't do it for you. You don't need nobody else. You're going to get justice for your own. You keep the fight up. Keep the fight up. And the cops cannot tell you you can't take them either. So you take out your cameras and anything you see, tape it. Tape it. Tape it. If you see something, see something.